Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Today we have a very interesting uh, trigonometry uh, equation here. Uh, first thing you want to do here, of course, is you want to make sure you can factor this. And this is a relatively easy one to factor. So you have 2 cosine of x uh, plus 1 times cosine of x minus 1. That's equal to 0. So you have two solutions. You have a cosine of x equal to minus half or cosine of x is equal to 1. Let's solve the easy one first. Cosine x equal to 1. Now you remember the cosine curve starts at 1 going downward. Okay, so this is 1 and this is x. So obviously our x is a multiple of 2n pi where n equal to 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth, all the integers. Okay, that's the easy part. Now let's take a look at how to solve this one. The best part to solve this one, as I always tell my students, is you draw a unit circle. Okay. Here's the unit circle cosine. You remember it's always the x value, okay. cosine theta and sine theta. So we're going to find half, negative half, which is on this side. This is x. Okay, negative half, I'm going to come down here. Oh, sorry about the paper here. Uh, I'm going to come down here, and from there, I'm going to find where my angle is. This one, so I have 180 here, I have 60 here, so I have 240. Let's convert 240 into a, a radians here. So let me move it up a little bit over here. Okay, so the reason I got 240 is that um, this one is a 60 degrees, okay, because this is a longer leg here and this is the shorter leg. So 240 and 180. Let's um, divide this one out literally. Okay, so 3, there's 8, there's a 6. Divided by 2, there's a 4. And divided by 2, there's 3. So it's 4 pi over 3. So here's our angle. And then our x to solve for this one is going to be 4 pi over 3 plus 2 n pi, where n equal to 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth. It's a multiple of um, 2 n pi's. But our base angle, our reference angle is 4 over 3 pi over here. Okay? Hope this helps, and have a confident day.